not having her. Who? Who? She's the end. She's so stuck up. Got to have her. She'd come anyway. I suppose you're right. You're bound to get gate crashes anyway. Remember my party? Those kids came to me to be French and someone knew them and uh, I had to get my dad to chuck them out. You need a bouncer. What about your dad? Him and me mum will be hanging round like bad cold anyway. At least you're having it in the garage. I mean, it's out of the way for them. You try telling that to me mum. She thinks we're all going to burn the house down. And turn the lights off and, and get, get plastered. Mine were the same. I told me mum I haven't got friends like that. Tell them you could really organise an orgy if you put your mind to it. I know I could. By the way, I've got something really special out of the shop for your present. Ooh, what? Ah, wait and see. I still haven't decided what I'm going to get for Ian yet. What's his hobbies? He hasn't got any except music. And I want to get him something really special. He better hurry up. It's only next Thursday. Hey, what's come over our son? Oh, don't ask, Steve. What goes on in his mind is a closed book to me. He's out there cleaning up garage for party. Wonders will never cease. Yeah. That looks grand. <laughs> Sixteen. And it'll be eighteen. Hardly seems like yesterday since she was in her pram. Oh, she's still our daughter, Steve. I do wish we weren't having this party here, though. Oh, it'll be all right. Trust you to say that, the eternal optimist. I know you hear stories, Elaine, but... Well, if she wants to have it here, we should be pleased. Just because she's 16, it's not going to be Liberty Hall. Don't go off the deep end, love, will you? I should be exactly the same as I always am, Steve. A good mother who's concerned. I wondered if you wanted some help. No, thanks. You're not still angry with me, are you, George? It's been two weeks now, George. It's not my fault Lisa attached herself to me. Me and her never got along anyway. All that running and jumping and stuff. She's sorry herself. She didn't mean to hurt you. Honest. Excuse me. Because I was speaking to Duncan. He reckons he can get a disco. If Sandy'd like it. Where from? It belongs to a mate who's going away. It's got a light show and all. If she'd like it. Well, why don't you ask her then? Because I wanted to ask you first. Oh, come on, George. It's not my fault Lisa got the wrong idea about you. As a matter of fact, I find a bit of a drag myself. Already? It's nothing but running and jumping. Well, you knew that. Yeah. Have you got another brush? Outside. And I'll speak to Duncan about the disco. What is it you want to sort out? A party, Mum. Yes? Well, Dad says I have to ask you about what we're going to drink. Steve, what's this about the drink? Well, uh, Sandy says, uh, quite reasonably, that because it's half Ian's party, well, it can't be just orange juice and coke. I'm not having a drunken orgy in the garage, Sandra. Oh, come on, Elaine. I mean, that's hardly likely, is it? Look, you remember what happened with Frank and Sonia when their Mick had a party? Yeah, that was gate crashers. Oh, and we're not going to get them. No, Steve. One whiff of free beer and they'll be round here like flies. All right, then I'll cancel it. Well, you sent the invites out. Well, then I'll ring everybody up. Oh, no, no. Look, I'm sure we can find a compromise. What I thought was we could keep the alcohol in here. So when people want it, they come out and ask for it. Well, that way we'll know who's drinking. Don't be so naive. All that had happened would be the older ones would go and get the drink and give it to the younger ones. No, Sandra, you're not grown up enough for alcohol. Love, that is not being helpful. Steve, she's only going to be 16, not 18. You can get married when you're 16, Mum. But not drunk. <sighs> Told you. I'll see what I can do. But I had to agree to it, Ian. Otherwise they would have said no. Mum was saying no completely. Stupid parents. At least we got some booze. I'm going out with my dad to buy it later. Yeah, well, don't get none of that awful sweet cider. I phoned you last night, but your mum said you were out. I really wanted to talk to you. I was that upset. Sorry. Where were you? Out. Well, I phoned twice. I wish you were here. It'd be such fun making all the arrangements with you. 
Petra's helping me with the food, but it's just not the same. Sorry. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Ian, are you still there? What's going on? I don't know. I'll have to ring you back later. Bye. <laughs> Turn it down. Hello, darling. A bit loud, was it? You could have heard that from the tower. Well, it has got a volume control. We can have it for free. And whose party is it? Listen, darling, it's very simple. Me, Duncan, is offering you, Sandy, a free disco for your party. Now, if you want it, you can have it. If you don't, OK, fine. I thought you'd like it. It won't be his record, Sandy. We can play what you like. If the music's going to be that loud, we'll have gate crashes from here to the central pier. What's that? That's Duncan's light show. Is it safe? Am I not a master electrician? It's dead good, Sandy. OK. I suppose you'll have to show someone how this works. Oh, no problem. My services come free as well. Duncan the DJ. Hello, 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 guys and girls. Welcome to the show. And now, another toe-tapping record, especially for the birthday girl. How's about that, then? Wasn't exactly grateful, was she? Not everyone's got ears made of cast iron, Duncan. It's down there, love. We need another trolley. Hey, how much you wanting to buy? You're not going to be really mean, Dad. No, love. Only don't expect me to keep all your friends in unlimited supplies of drink all night. Go on, take what you want. Yeah, 48 cans you've got. And two more of those. Well, I just got this recipe for cider cup. Yeah, I want to know what goes into it. It's just fruit and stuff. That all? And lemonade. And? Vodka. Yeah, I thought as much. Well, maybe without the vodka. You'll have a hangover, I warn you. Well, Petra's had them. But don't you be in a hurry, too. Is Mum really all right about the drink? As long as you don't go mad, love. I'll just get the lemonade. Right, so it's to mix it all together in the mix with the yoghurt now. A habit of it. What about you? What have we put yoghurt all up the walls for? And up there? We had an accident. Now will you go away? You've not been to Carla's. Why? The clothes are awful. So, ugh. What? Ugh. I wouldn't expect a boy to understand, but take it from me. They are. I'm sorry. You've missed a bit. George, if you guzzle any more, there won't be any left. Why, are you planning to do the other rooms? Just go away! I'm glad I haven't got a brother like that, you know. I'll just hurry up, Petra. Come on, she'll be here in a minute. We'll get done.
everybody in here. Of course we will. It'll be like sardines. I like sardines. I don't even know what time Ian's arriving tomorrow. We know what he's like. <sighs> Halfway through my teens. That's what I'll be. I'll be able to leave school and get married. Oh, Jo. Mum and Dad say I should stay on. But I'm so bored with school. Well, what are you going to do if you leave? Get a job. But there aren't any. Well, Petra's going in for hairdressing. I shan't sleep tonight. Why not? Thinking about tomorrow. Do you know what Mum and Dad have got me? I haven't got a clue. As long as it's not clothes. Mum always buys me stuff I won't be seen dead in. Not like Petra's, Mum. That dress they've got me is really fantastic. Oh, by the way, James has got you a present. Oh. I think I'll go and give Ian another ring. Then I'll go to bed. I thought you said you won't be able to sleep. I'll read a book first. Night, George. Night, Sander. Tomorrow will be great. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandra. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, love. Birthday. Happy birthday. Mm, hey, that's you. all for you on table. When did it all come? Oh, that's a secret. Hey, this big one's from your mum and me. Now be careful with it. Open it up and see. Does it rattle? No, it does not. And yeah, there's a pile of cards for you as well. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Mum. And there's ten tapes thanks, in there as well. <gasps> now you can listen to music without drowning out the rest of us. I was beginning to think you'd gone to sleep, George. My mum's gonna have a fit about all that wire. Relax! Tell her she's got an expert on the job. He hasn't fallen off that ladder once. Are you still here, James? I thought you might have fallen through a crack in the floor. The constant wit. How long are you gonna be? A mm, couple of hours. Pass us up a piece of string, James, if you've got the energy. Yeah. Well done. Oh, what it is to have such a wonderful big brother, eh? Must be great. You know, this lot's going to blow everybody's minds. Do you know that? If it doesn't blow feels. Would I? Hello, Mrs. Shelton. What are all these wires doing in here? Ah, uh, well, you see, there's only a single outlet from the garage. Uh, Duncan, this is my kitchen, not some kind of power station. I know I'll unplug it when it's tested. You'll unplug it now. I want the washing machine on. All right. Don't blame me if the house turns down, then. I'll give you two minutes. Thank very much. Yeah. Well, it obviously works. Seaview Private Hotel. Hello, who's that? Mrs. Shelton, he's speaking. It's Ian. Is Sandy there? No, she's not. She was expecting you to call last night about how many friends you were bringing. Yeah, well, I got caught up and sort of forgot about it. I'm bringing a couple of mates. Is that all right? Well, it's not me who's putting you up. Could you tell her I'll be late? Can't get the train till seven. Well, she'd be disappointed. Is she well? Yes, thanks, Mary. How are your parents? Oh, you know. OK. I'll give them my love. And see you later, Ian. Thanks, Mrs Shelton. Bye. James, it's really nice. It's going to be great tonight. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. It will be. Duncan may be a Wally, but he's a whiz as well. He knows what he's doing. Mm. Do those disco lights work as well? He's tested them all. This is for you, Sandy. Happy birthday. What is it? Open it and see. Bet it's a pen. Nah, stick a rock. James, you shouldn't have. I wanted to. It's lovely. Thanks. Shall I put it on? Yeah, go on. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> oh, do you think that's enough? Yeah, stop panicking. How are you getting on? It's hardly enough time. Oh, by the way, 
Ian phoned. Why didn't you say? Well, I've only just seen you. Well, when's he coming? He said he can't get a train till seven, and he's bringing two friends with him. Your mother will want to know that, Petra. Well, how was he? All right. I told him you'd be disappointed about him coming late. And listen, I want this kitchen in 20 minutes. I can hardly wait. My stomach's all tuning inside. It's ages since I've seen him. It's only a fortnight. Roll on eight o'clock. <laughs> Well, James is here, with Lisa. arrived? Maybe there's been some hold-up on train. Cheer up, love. I'm sure he's coming. Look what I've got. Where'd you get it from? I pinched it from my dad's cocktail cabinet. Put it away. Don't you want some? I've tried spirits before. They burnt me throat. You don't drink it on its own, you Wally. Here, come on, let's get everybody plastered. Don't, Nick. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. Mr Shelton, I'll go mad. Oh, don't be such a Wally. Oh, that's better. Leave it alone. Get it off, pack it in. Well, we're here now. You lot best go round the back. They're having it in the garage. What about me? I can hardly say happy birthday, Sandy. Not with you in tow. Oh, you won't be long. Of course I won't. Be nice. I've got to tell her. Mm. <laughs> Remember when you came to Manchester? I thought then that that's what I needed, to see you again. But it wasn't. Things are different now. Don't you see? I still like you, I still want to be friends. But I don't understand. What about those things you said? Yeah, I know. How could you say those things to me? But I meant it. I meant it at the time. And you just let me go on believing that for two whole weeks? And we arranged this party and everything, and you come down here and start to say... Sandy, I had to tell you. You can't just stop caring just like that. You can't. I never stopped thinking about you. Please don't break it off. Not like this. Not tonight. Please. But she's here, Sandy. Who's here? She's called Joe. You like her, really. You mean? You found somebody else, and you've actually brought her here to my party. I hate you! I needn't have come, you know, but that would have been worse. Not to be straight with you. But to come here with her, after been waiting for this day for two whole weeks. How could you? I'm sorry, Sandy. Sorry? You're sorry? Is that all you can say? I better go and find her. Happy birthday, Sandy. Let's <laughs> go. 
Sikune with her. I was so looking forward to the party. I wanted to make it special for us. Do you want me to tell him to go? I don't care. He's down there dancing with her. But I still love him. I'm going down there to tell him to clear off. Control. Duncan, you wallet! Just blown a fuse. Be back in a tick. Carry on. Oh. Everyone kiss everybody else. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Where's the fuses? How should I know? I told you, Duncan. It's only a fuse, Mrs. Shelton. Oh, Don't panic, God. everybody. Don't, Don't panic. panic. No, it's all about being sorted. Mr. Shelton, where's the, where's the fuse box? In the cellar. Don't panic, everyone. I'm a trained electrician. Oh, well, you can't be that trained. I've been blown all the fuses. Yeah, you're right. It's a joke. Don't worry. Don't move, anybody. It's just a fuse! Leave it! I'm not being responsible for you lot having a Stop it! Well, here we are. Are you sure you can fix it? Oh, yeah! Well, I think so. Go away. That's what I was just going to say to you. What's the matter? You, coming here with her and not even telling Sandy. You've ruined the whole party for her. So what do you suggest I do? Go, that's what. Leave. You and all. I think you should, Ian. She'll get over it. Not tonight, she won't. You've ruined everything. OK. Come on, we'll go down town and have a bop at Alexander's. I don't feel that comfortable here. See? You all right? He's gone. Good. He shouldn't have done that to you, Sandy. It was cruel. There'll be somebody else. Never! You're gonna stay here all night? Duncan blew all the fuses. That's where the lights went out. Can you mend them? <laughs> Who knows? Why did it have to happen this way? You mean Ian? I thought he cared. He said he did. Well... People say all sorts of things, not always what they mean. But I trusted him. I thought I could. Oh, give Duncan a medal. <laughs> Are there many people still down there? Oh, yeah. You should have seen Mum trying to stop them all getting their hands on the booze. <laughs> and Nick poured half a bottle of vodka into the cider cup. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, he's asleep now. <laughs> Are you coming downstairs, then? It's your party. And who'd I dance with? Me? You, George? I'm your brother. I'm the only fella you've got till you find someone else. <laughs> Will you dance? Are you asking? I'm asking. OK, then, but don't tread on my feet. Me? Hmm. <laughs>
Well, she's the 